Hi, I'm Alan Whiting from Outback Travel Australia. We're testing the LDV T60. It's a Chinese ute. This is the automatic and it's the trail rider version with new suspension. It's quite a surprise package. The driving position is good, everything's where it should be, large display screen and it's got Android and Apple Play. The back seat's not bad. Obviously, like most crew cabs, best for smaller people, but it's comfy enough. The trail rider comes with a roller tonneau that locks into place. Very neat. The wheels and tyres look flash, but they're not really bush friendly. These are strictly street tyres, so we haven't been able to do our full test track. The steps are good for the vertically disadvantaged but they get in the way off-road. The engine bay is very well laid out. There's a big air cleaner that's easy to reach and it breathes from the inner mudguard I like the fuel filter, it's a very big canister and there's a primer pump on the top of it. The radiator should be bush friendly, it's got very big top stays as well as bottom ones. 
LDV is using the VM Maturi four-cylinder 2.8 litre turbo diesel. It's got a variable geometry turbocharger. It's the same engine that is used in the current Holden Colorado and Jeep Wrangler but it's detuned in this application. It has 110 kilowatts and 360 newton meters. This engine may be detuned in the interests of reliability. The first LDV T60s we drove had standard suspension and it just wasn't Australian road friendly. Since then LDV got the Walkinshaw boys involved in Melbourne. They do assembly of the right hand drive rams for Atiko. The Walkinshaw engineers selected Chinese made but European brand sack shocks and that has transformed the ride and handling of the T60. From being one of the worst utes out of the box, it's now one of the best. At a price of 42 grand, this trail rider is a very, very good value for money proposition.